Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Raise the World Lupo Let's Play. We continue for episode 18 from turn 91 in the harvest season of 212. So last time we kind of went into the Shandong Peninsula. We're trying to finish off Cornwall's faction. He recolonized his old capital, so we know where his army is. That's a good sign. And now we just have to do a bit more cleanup work here, starting with Dong Lai. And this should be a pretty straightforward roar. And then we're moving on to a slightly tougher, I think level seven settlement. But aside from those two, uh, the remaining Beihai should be very easy. It's not gonna level up that quickly to a tier four where they get walls. So everything will be very accessible. We just have to find them and get dismounted if we need to. Want the last guy to get inside. Okay, and then we try to rush him. Not fast enough, but that's fine. Just gotta slam the ones that did come back. And then hopefully get a chain route here. We can squeeze out another heal for him. He took quite a chunk from fighting the spear units. Won't be full healed, but close enough. There we go. Okay, Alright, I don't know if we can reach that. That was my main concern earlier. Oh, they leveled up level 8. We are going to reach it, though. That's the good sign. We will get instant siege. They upgraded the garrison. Ooh. Spicy. Um, This means we can't use our siege weapon. Because those archers will actually burn down the siege weapon. I wonder if they'll fire at it, even. Because it would just be a general inside. They will fire at it if there are units, but if it's a general, I don't know if they will actually fire at it. Seems like we have to get through towers anyway, so this is fine. Now the cool thing is, even if they burn down the siege tower, Du Bu will just exit, and then we'll just have to climb the walls where, you know, fatigue immune, so it's not really going to hurt us. Yeah, because it's a general unit, they are not going to shoot at it, or else the oil arrows will actually burn through uh, this tower really, really quickly. And then what happens is the unit inside will just actually climb out. It wouldn't actually destroy the unit inside. But it's actually hard to kill these units on the wall. They're tough units. And we didn't even give the boy heal before we sent him off. This could be interesting. I mean, the archers are still going to be easy to kill because they don't really fight back. They're not designed to really be strong melee units. And plus, Weibo is pretty insane. The Defender of Heaven are going to be more interesting. We freeze them and then start killing them, please. Cool. How did you die on the backswing? 
Oh yeah, on the swings. Oh, the blood. They're literally like vaporizing some of them guys. Oh, he just lost the arm. A couple guys crawling. Watching them slowly die in front of him. Look at that splatter. I don't know if that's blood or the rock from the wall. Like, maybe we can sneak a good one in here. Come on, do the slam. There we go. Not bad. I think it's just the rock, and then the light from the night battle lamp is giving it sort of a blood feel, but it's not actually blood. This unit is routed. I'm waiting for cooldowns to go down. I think we can wait here for a little bit. That's a debuff as well. Oh, they also have cavalry. We're gonna get chunked pretty hard. It'd be nice if we don't have to fight them at the tower, but if we are gonna fight them at the tower, we might as well try to capture the tower. Hmm, this is brutal. The tower is killing us. Alright, we kill the unit, capture the tower before he kills us. There's another tower and just one unit? Okay, we can do it. We can roar it. Zigzag, 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 zigzag. Okay, we're good. Although, not yet. Not yet. The tower fires backward, too. There we go. Whew. I'm not fighting you. Alright, this is Coron's best shot. Threw out an Imperial Garrison at us. Definitely chunked us good. Mainly because of the towers. Alright, so this is probably empty, but they have an army over here. I, I don't know if he'll run the army at us or not. But that's as far as we're gonna get. They have reclaimed the capital and their emperor is back. We have a couple debuffs on us that makes it minus 15 turns of military supplies, minus two turns of minus 50 military supplies. So basically if we move out we're just instant military supply depleted. Uh, I mean it is only level one so it'd be a quick trip. Let's do it. Because they have not built a garrison yet, so the Emperor is gone again. Where's the army that claimed it? That's my question. How did they claim it back without sending an army there? Did they colonize and then recall the army or something like that? They must have done something. Yeah, this army can't do anything for two turns because of this. Once this is gone, we can beat the 15, but we can't beat the 50. Once that's gone, we can maybe take the long way take out the trade posts and then go back to the trade port, come back and then maybe go to Nyan's um, lumber mill or something like that. Um, that's a bit difficult to tackle even for our stack. We're going to wait for Lupo to come back to do that. In the meantime, we are still two levels away from our combo. There is a scenario where let's say Lupo hit 60 and then we're worried about him dying. We can adopt Gao Shun, and he can take over all the powers afterwards, like the roars, and he will still have his own slam ability to kind of mimic Lu Bu. We'll give him the weapon, give him the horse. He'll be unbreakable and all the good stuff. 
No change. Yeah, Coral's definitely gonna plead. Lady Me, uh, not not gonna care about them. No. Show up. Come north. Send your brother. Send your brother's uh, new wife. Your sister-in-law. Send your sister. These are minor ones. He's sending us a lot of... Um, got it back. Got the Emperor back again. Um, afterwards, we're going down, so maybe Beihai first. Also, likely where the army is. Ah, Koron's gonna die himself. Wonderful. Qi Guanhua? What an interesting name. Okay. I mean, the thing is, the settlement's completely wiped, so their morale is gonna be super, super bad, because they're gonna have the settlement destruction, which is 20 points of morale, night battle is 15 points of morale. So that's automatically 35 points of morale gone for the entire army. And there's no towers. So I expect like militia just wavering once we load in. And the Wu obviously has like scare and terror. So we'll be just applying that once we do run them in. I want to hide these. Don't want them to actually come out at us. See? Militia instant. Night battle's only 10 points? I would have thought it's five, uh, 15 points. They do get a boost from difficulty modifier. They get a boost from standing on a capture point. The moment they don't stand on a capture point and they try to come out, look at the wavering. It's just like, boss, are we sure about this? He does have stifling deluge. I'm not scared. Let's go. Stifling Deluge is causing an issue, so we run away from Coral. Slap on the units behind. We stuck. Oh, 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 oops. Come in as well. Don't be shy. We can only capture that and wreck their morale a bit more, too. Yeah, everything's just wrecked. It's a full wreck, 20 points. Yeah, we can see the people routing behind. Alright, we can't use ability as long as Koron's alive. Uh, but Koron's backed off. Could just roar on these guys, but I guess we don't need to. Like, the morale is just not here. That unit is split two ways. Are you sure army loss didn't kick in for you? Alright, I think we can squeeze in another heal before we exit this fight. So it's actually kind of nice when they recolonize a settlement like this, because you know it's zero levels, everything's wrecked, 20 points of morale, just debuff on the army that colonize and just go in and slap them. And then with Korong gone, we're going to be looking for Koming. Who go down? Right, so faction wipe here. Fangtianhuaji在手,天下谁敢当无? 
我们将横扫此地，只留下敌军的尸。做好准备。I mean, they're not going to charge us. They can't, you know, stay away from us enough. I'm just going to dismount myself. Make sure we use our ability after the dismount. I think we got everyone except for this guy. Too slow. Too slow. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, we got three guys bouncing back. Not a big deal. Slap. Can you route that? Yeah, there's no point to take the damage. I don't think we can squeeze another heal. And I don't think it's necessary to squeeze another heal. Coron's wiped. Done with the faction. Done with Shandong Peninsula. Time to move down to the Xu province. Lady Mi is next. I'm very happy. Coron's wiped. Everything's wiped. Time to move on down. How many turns do we have instant siege? Three more turns. So... We probably can hit that next turn, but that's probably all our movement, even with the reset. So two... Maybe second turn, third turn. We can get these done before we run out. They still really can't move. We're just moving out to instantly lose everything. All our supplies. That's just not good. That's the wife. Are you mad that your husband's walking around with um, Bu Lian Shi? They don't have anyone unique except for Xiao Chao here. She's not on our list. She is the administrator of a location. We could maybe try to um, work on her a little bit. Everything's more expensive because Hall's Hall's scheme. Um, plus 25, plus 30. Okay, so I'm gonna do this again, I guess. Then see if we can do this. Okay, we can. 30 minus 8? Hall's Hall's scheme is ridiculous. She is a wife, she's not heir. I, I don't want her to kill the heir. Like, the assassination here wouldn't make sense because, like, we need them to be checked off the list. But I guess we'll host the spy for a little bit. Alright, the Emperor is back. No problem. We are good. Let's continue. Oh? Yenbai, who's faction, I think? From the glimpse? Ambush? There's movement here? Right, the way they- Because I'm expecting an ambush here? You can use the army to reset movement, that's actually better. Decent. All right, we expect to bump. Yep, bump into someone, and they failed. Decent item, unbreakable. Stifling deluge. Okay. I mean, we just have to beat them up. It's not really a difficult fight. Like, if we look at the army, I'm not even sure if we do a proper fight, they can beat us. They do have relationships, so let's kill the guy who is unbreakable. Actually, we're gonna kill the girl first because she has um, stifling deluge. 
Now, none of their unit actually have spears. So, not a lot of concern here. Get rid of this cavalry first. I, oh, a sep, a sep. Kill the girl. We kill the guy first. Let's go, give him a heal. It's pretty over. Sorry, maybe you can give Dupal another heal. Yep, we can. Everyone huddle up. I actually want this army to pull back a little and not get eliminated here because then we'll be able to reset our movement again closer to our targets. Yeah, we absolutely want more field battles. Like if there's armies standing in the middle between towns, that's like the best. Also, Yan Bai Hu needs to show up. We need his uh, trait. Mm, I mean, we, we let a lot of them go, so maybe. He's a burn officer. I kind of want him as a administrator, actually. The bandit skill tree is going to be weird, but it looks like he's a Han officer by the retinue. Uh, they kind of ran the wrong direction, but that's fine. Right, so we want him for the Burin trade, obviously. Yes, he's a Han officer. And also building upkeep, 25%. I don't care about this item. That's not good. Let's do... Um, don't need any of these. Man, there's nothing that we really need. I mean, we have so much stuff, we'll just give him some stuff. War Axe, we do have that. Oh! Wait, 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 wait. Both of them have unique armor, so they can't use the combo. Alright, so I guess you can use the combo. It doesn't give us anything, but that's fine. Let's give you good stuff. Make you feel at home. Plus four reserve. That's actually probably what we want. Because we're worried about the reserve of the settlement. If it comes under siege, if it gets attacked by... Uh, not attack, but like different type of faction council debuff being applied. Where's the... I guess we wouldn't have unlocked any of the administrator bonus ones. Like the industry, population growth. Because they actually require us to have things like non-aggression packs. Uh, none of them actually are useful. That's fine. He is on cooldown this turn. Okay. We will be inviting him in next turn then. So obviously we don't want armies running around here. Uh, even if they're dragging us farther and farther away. This cannot be bad, right? We cannot lose our cavalry on this delegate against four archers. We lost two of them. It did drag us out, but we could get to Donghai actually. Let's start in Donghai then. It kept the stack. It's gonna be an impressive garrison, I'm guessing, too. Double stack garrison? Oh no, only single. Okay. Um not easy. Stifling Deluge, I cannot roar on her. 
Well, at least no one's unbreakable. We'll take out Lady Mi's capital, start stripping the Shu province layer by layer, similar to what we did in the north. We can probably start moving our main army, uh, Gaoshun, out of there. And the next turn, we want to recruit our new administrator on the field, give him a retinue of units, like whatever top end unit we can afford. And then recall him so that he can get into the garrison. This is a massive, massive city. Now, the weak point is that the town square we can take and try to win from that. Alright, we're just gonna get in here and then. Oh man, the barricades. We gotta like loop all the way around to get over here. What if we cross the wall, go to the other side? Get off here, get through the street this way? It's still barricaded. Hmm. They put in a lot of barricades. Go, go, go. Like, I think we can ignore the units on the wall. We basically land. We fight our way on foot down here. And then we're looping all the way around where she's coming. Oh my god, they stack the walls. This is... A lot of units. Maybe a slam would work. Yeah, maybe a slam would work here. Debuff, no one runs. Kill, kill, kill. I don't know if Libu has the health to do this alone. We might have to get Taran over here. Alright, so we'll let Libu keep clearing the wall. We're gonna come. Okay, now they're gathered together. Give them a heal. Can kill the general real fast on foot real fast especially since the has been stacking smoldering fury i'm pretty sure all right they're all killed let's kill these jamajian okay debuff their armor which they don't have a lot of give them the debuff Ooh, she's here that's the one we want to kill Come on down, you two. What are you guys doing? Okay, maybe they're stuck. Uh, we're stuck. Tower's hitting us. John L's not looking good. And they are actually... It's mainly the towers. We give him a heal. Gotta get them away from that two stacks of towers. Maybe just kill some archer militia real quick. Roar. Alright, we got everything here. Let's capture this real quick. We killed most of their units, actually, I think.
They're having army loss issues. Oh, oil. Yeah, we're kind of stuttering on three times speed. What's going on? Huh, that's weird. The frame rate is not keeping up. I mean, they're clearly all pulling back. Yeah, the frame rate is dipping like crazy on three times speed. Right, before we go into the crazy lady that doesn't let us use our abilities, could we please huddle up? People, move, move. Alright, stupid barricades are slowing us down. You have to go through a tower here. Alright, army lost kicked in. Thank god. Did not really want to go through two sets of towers. Yeah, not impressed by their capital. Should at least build a military infrastructure. Alright, now we're kind of out of movement. And there's an army over here. That's uh, that's at least what the end term kind of map showcased. Um, We're going to go for the port. See if we can get that in about two turns. And then maybe we'll even... No, I think we'll come back this way. A different Luger. Is he the one we killed in the army? I don't remember the name. So I'm kind of hesitant to recruit. Oh, another spy. It's hard for us to get spies to do things because we're actually losing points. And I have to like use this to maintain eight point loss each turn. And it's ba basically not working out. I guess we get another spy. That way they at least share that point and then they can do stuff together. It's going to be difficult. But we'll give it a shot. Alright, let's see what they're up to. We can play March this, actually. To give maximum movement. In case there's an army here, maybe they'll come back and try to fight us. No vision on that. We have two turns of the siege. So next turn is the last turn. We can hit this and hit this. We don't have enough for that. But maybe, maybe next next season spring, maybe we'll get it again. Because we're in enemy territory, that's usually the requirement. Ah, we have more vision of this. So Zhang Yan does have a piece, but not the entire piece. And he obviously can't hold it because of looters. Surprise, they're still alive. Ma Teng has a lot of territory, but he's bumping into Nanman. Meng Huo is like all over the place. I have no idea how he did it. He raised some land for us, that's great. And Mulu's over here. There seems to be two big Nunman threats. Yellow Turban's still surviving, at least. Wouldn't call them doing well. Tell us always punish them a bit. We'll see how it goes. Stop trying to vassalize us. Fight your Nunman wars. We have vision because we have spies in his army. Which is now why we see some of the locations in the north. Bonfus has died of old age. Wow, a Nunman recruit showing up in our pool. That usually doesn't happen. 
And we know he's not a spy. Because he has a willing to spy. But he's 62 and we already got our administrator, so. We don't need him. Um, speaking of that, oh, they're coming to us. Do we have to walk back? Does he have a good garrison? He does not have a good garrison. He has Tao Zhi, Tao Zhang, who else? Hua Xin, okay. Let's raise our boy. Does not need a good stack. Let's just swap units. He's only level four. That's enough for Camp Crushers, and that's probably the best delegating unit I can put on him before we get like Yellow Dragons, maybe a couple Cavalry. The question is like, do we need Cavalry in Gate Pass Siege Battles? I guess we can. It's gonna be like a double gated Siege, and I don't have Cavalry in the retinue, so like adding some Cavalry might be a cool option here, especially since it's Jade Dragons. And then we can summon him back without paying anything. He'll be coming in next turn, which means I don't think we can go there. I think we don't have enough movement to go back. Wow. How did that happen? Oh, is it because we ended with less momentum? Perhaps. Mary's Horan, reset skill trees, increase temporary siege. That's what we need to refresh. Um, set item. Let's mess with Tall Tall's food. Reset his skill tree. Sure. Yuan Tan's in Liu Bell's faction. I don't think I care about that, but I'll take it. And might as well just do it our way. So he starts with Unbreakable. I want this one for the 25% upkeep. And that's about it, actually. Public order is not a big issue. They have to siege it for a turn. They have no siege weapon, so they'll be back in time. That's not a big deal. They did recolonize that. Okay, so that maybe that was the army moving around. I'm hoping that's the army that's moving around. We're not going to wipe out Lady Mi's faction here. I don't think she's summoned Zhuge Liang yet. We're going to just sweep back towards Cao Cao, start killing Cao Cao off with our main army here. We got to check a lot of name off our list from Cao Cao's group. Xu Chu, Sima Yi, for sure. And whoever else he summons. Those two in particular are... Oh, Guo Jia. Guo Jia is very important as well for that movement boost. I feel like they're all here, and if we just rush in pretty deep and just freeze them. Wait, why couldn't I freeze them? And then slap them, and then roar on them. Oh, I see a unit in the back. No. I'm trying to make sure they don't. most of them don't bounce back. It's the goal. So at least we have to fight less of them. This archer is surprisingly resilient. Army loss kick in? Thank you. Uh, we're pretty injured. We'll take this full heal. We'll banish Yuan Xi's faction down to Guangling. He wouldn't have any northern holdings. And then we'll see what happens afterwards.
，大获全胜，毋庸置疑。给我烧！Hmm. Yeah, I think we take out Lady Mi's capital again. See, this is a good garrison. They got the siege weapons. This is gonna be a little bit trickier. I think we'll actually hide in the forest for this one. Watch the AI cheat and put the bastions. I, I guess they do see these things, so putting them here is not necessarily cheating per se. And we're not using the siege tower because we actually don't get fatigued, so this is faster for us. I'm gonna try to open up a gate for our other guys. Have to kill these guys, or else even if we roar on the inside, it might not result in a complete wipe. Now these gates are not easy to control. Hold on, you two start coming here. Like, the process of us capturing the gate means the process of us getting shot by that tower. Let me let me capture this tower first. Let's see if we can do it. We have the gate! Let me go in. There we go. John, no, go in. John's like, we don't have the gate. What are you talking about? All right, cap to the next one. Slap. Come back, come back, come back. Alright, we're just gonna go for the square. I'm gonna just roar off these guys. Wasn't really a struggle. That was actually quite fast. We just brute force our way in, let the heal take off. Hopefully, we get enough movement to take down Yuan Xi's capital as well, and then we're gonna make contact with Cao Cao's group, and then we'll personally raise the Emperor's holding. <laughs> Ooh, level 10 Taoren. What do we want him to have? He can get two skills here. Discipline for his retinue. That's not bad. Campaign line of sight. It's not really relevant for him. I guess we'll take this. That's the only thing that actually grants a bonus. And then encourage. And then 20% melee resistance. Uh, range resistance for his cavalry. It's basically just for his units. Right, we actually don't have enough movement. But yeah, I think it's time to go back to Tall Tall's area. Let's see if he actually attacks us. I, I don't think he will. But then again... Alright, we have enough points. Let's try... to make Ma Chao hate him. 
and then get more points. Hopefully next turn they can make another move. Macho is at 26, so we hopefully need to do like discredit faction. Need to wait two turns. It's a little bit difficult, but we'll try. Um, flipping him is not really the goal because we need to fight him. Oh, one of them's a chancellor. Okay, cool. We get another reform. Let's keep going down the yellow dragon route. After next turn, we pick this up. Then we just need a temple. That's pretty hard to do, actually. We can maybe try to capture the emperor, hold him for a couple turns. It looks like there's a temple here. So maybe we keep this for a bit. Let Tal Tal take it afterwards. We'll just rate, like, decrease the level down to zero. Let him step on it. Um, yeah. Give that a shot. And then we can see if we get the trigger for the Execute Emperor event. That way we just remove this entirely. Because right now we're just living through this debuff for the past... Ever since he come of age. I think 16 years? So 19 years. Yeah, 19 years. Wow. Anyhow, let's continue. Uh, maybe, maybe a march. Maybe a march to get... Oh, I guess we are at the edge of the... The range already. Doesn't really concern us. Like, we are weaker, we're tired, but no one's gonna really touch us. See, Monghua's army doesn't look that hot. It looks like they're all injured. Everyone's army looked pretty injured, actually. Ah, uh, this one hurts. This is faction wide. So, all our charge bonus is pretty much gone. Galshrin also got hit with the. Uh... That's not too bad, though. It doesn't matter. They're both our best friends. Don't make us pick. All right, so I think we just need to save some points for discredit faction next turn. One of them will pump the point into undercover network. Well, minus 19 a turn. Wow. Yeah, one of them will spend all their points pumping into the other one and then use the 50 together. It, it'd be interesting. We'll see if we can pull it off. Uh, our money is going down because we are spending quite a lot of it on um, spies. This I'm willing to negotiate actually. Because I'm going to focus on Tal for a bit. And if she's willing to pay us, we're more than happy to accept that. She makes a decent amount. So I'm guessing knife. 12-ish. Close. 20, maybe. We'll take this deal. It's not going to make any impact. She can recolonize some of that. We're going to have to sweep back. You know, it's just something that we have to do. I don't think the AI colonized that fast. Um, she might be incentivized to colonize Longya back. I think just the AI think that's their capital, so that might happen. We're going to focus on Yuan Xi and Cao Cao right now, and the Emperor. So once we take this out, Yuan Xi is going to be stuck down in Guangling. And hopefully this break gives Lady Mia a chance to get Zhuge Liang on the field. And pick up Pang Tong. Um, I think he's past his event time. But I think it's uh, so many towers. Like so many towers. I'm not going to use the siege engine. Turn white. And they're going to bounce back.
If we can get that cavalry to come closer, I'm seriously considering going down and roaring them. Hmm? Hmm? Misclick on some, just like, a, like a remaining unit here, maybe? them run away. That defeats the purpose of this. Slam. We just maintain damage. They can't come back. Ah, it's okay. We made it through the tower. Let's go through the center. If they come back, they come back. We're gonna hold the center. Any abilities to use. Should be army loss soon. Oh, there's a tower on that side. We'll fight over here. There we go. Now we get to siege the Emperor. Yeah, so I think the new plan is we capture... Um, I think it's Xuchang. Should be Chen's capital. Oh, oh, Suiyang. Right, they move Xuchang to in front. Oh, they kept someone defended. Yuan Fa Liu Ye. Okay, no problem. And we're gonna come back and do this. This is where we will end the episode. It looks like they don't have military infrastructure there. Should be an easy wipe. Um, that army retreated away. We're gonna just come back, maybe raise that. After Li Bu takes this, he's going to raise all these settlements over here. Wow, Lady Mi's picking on He Yi as well. But we're basically going to wipe out Toto's northern half, and he's going to just have this southern trunk, which actually makes him quite weak. And then we're going to make some contact with Ma Teng's faction as well, at least clean up the stuff he has over here. Liu Bell, I don't know if I want to go... I mean, I, I think letting the Naman take care of them is a better option. We'll look for He Yi as well. We're going to start going back to target hunting. Um, all this should be raised. Lady Me, we're letting them take a breather, but we can jump in back to that war whenever we want as well. But most likely, Tal Tal's area got to disappear first. All this will disappear. We'll sweep back this way, come down, wipe out Yuan Xi, and then we might start looking for Sun Ce if we checked off all of Tal Tal's list. If not, we have to let Tal Tal survive and then kill his generals one by one. We're getting a plan to maybe mess with Ma Teng from the inside. It's very difficult with all the schemes that's hitting us from Tal Tal. We're not being able to keep our up, um, uncover, undercover network up. Uh, Yang Feng's having a swell time, and that's okay. If he wants to colonize the north, he can. Um, we'll let our buddy have it. Um, but we might have to go there and take care of him as well. Uh, maybe on this upswing with, with our main army, we might clear this, end up at the port. We might let this army take this. And then from here, Lu Bu might take a little northern trip and uh, let this army, since we do hold a piece of land, we can shift the army towards this piece of land that we're going to hold and start clearing around that kind of in a operational radius for that army uh, just to keep everyone down a little bit. And then once Li Bu's done with the north, he can come back and continue. Um, so we'll keep an eye out. We might have to go to the west and do a bit of this work. Um, just, just a time factor at this point. Hopefully, I mean, optimally... We bump into, say, He Yi, we pick up recovery, 
then Lu Bu is off on his own. Cao Ren can be given over to a new army with Gao Shun, and Gao Shun can try to level up and get his slam quickly, and then they can go raise over here, be sort of a semi Lu Bu army. We wouldn't have the roar, but um, you know, we just have to fight a little bit slower. We can still operate with just the heal and basically go from there. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and we'll come back next time and take the Emperor for ourselves, see if we can execute him, see if he escaped super fast or not. Uh, he's not going to like us, so he's probably going to run, but we'll see how that goes. So until then, bye.